the question of how traditional teachers begin on their journey of inquiry often comes up. Um, a couple of the things that I would say is, to understand inquiry, it takes a crock pot, not a microwave. And by meaning that, I think it takes time um, to develop. I think somewhere between three and five years to develop a good culture of inquiry. Um, be patient, and most of all, don't try to do it alone. I think this is something that you need to find some sort of sanctuary of support. And what I mean by that is finding some colleagues that are in the same situation as you are and want to dedicate themselves to that same kind of a journey. Doing it alone, um, you don't have the kinds of interaction and the opportunity to reflect and discuss. Begin by taking some of your time-honored traditional labs that work very well and find out how you can tweak them and modify them to make them more student-centered. One example that I always give teachers uh, uh, is that when you take a look at their lab that they give, and a traditional lab may be very good, but traditional labs often have a data table in that. One of the first things I will suggest to that teacher is take away the data table. Let the students design their own data table. Because I think that if a student cannot design their own data table, they don't understand the premise of the investigation. So by something as small as taking that away and letting kids design it, they begin to understand what are the variables in this investigation and begin to see how are they going to organize, record their data, and it helps them later on to look for patterns and relationships between the variables that they're investigating.